Yes, sir. This is your boy Tim Dog on the University of Island Tings. You know what I'm saying? Island Tings. Today is a very good episode, very special episode. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I ain't by myself. You know what I'm saying? I have to make it interesting for y'all people. You know what I'm saying? So today, I got Ayana. I got Samira. I got the sisters. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, and when I say, me say family. They family, you know what I'm saying? They lit, they nice, and they are hip to damn near every fucking thing. My bad, to, for my bad for cursing, but they hip to everything. So I'm gonna let them introduce they introduce themselves. Let's go. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna keep it simple. My name is Ayana. Nothing too much going on with me. What's good? I'm Samira. Thank you, Tim, for having me. That's all. Well. That works too, but anyway, so let's get let's get right into it, right? You know what I'm saying? Because when I met them, you know what I'm saying, I met them in the Caribbean spot, you know what I'm saying, and they're they're hip to Caribbean Afro beats, soca, calypso, you know, they're hip, they're they're pretty fucking hip, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let them explain where they're from or whatnot, so you can see how hip they is, you know what I'm saying? So y'all explain where y'all from? Well, pretty much, so it's me and my sister. We from Texas, Colleen. It's a little small military town. Ain't too much going on here. But pretty much with me, you know, I got a little soul in me, a little, a little, what you call it? Um, soul, what you call it? A little, I can't culture. think. Yeah, a little culture. It's yes, a culture inside and stuff. So just, just bring the life out of me. That's it. Yeah, so like you said, we was uh, born and raised pretty much in Colleen, but we were exposed to Caribbean lifestyle, like, teenage years, so that's kind of where I gained my love for soca and Caribbean music, um, and then pretty much when I got grown, grown, that's when I started getting onto the Afro beat, um, but I have a very diverse interest in music. I love everything. I love oldies. I like the current everything rap hip-hop all of it yes sir so y'all thought i was joking this shit is real bro this is a real thing right now so you know what i'm saying so since y'all already hip to the music and the lifestyles what is really y'all like y'all like when this shit plays is on like what's y'all genre the genre for me right now, Afrobeat is gone. That's that's what I'm on right now. Like, I've had Nigerians or South or uh, West Africans rather. They tell me like, "Damn, you really know the latest." Like, I know the latest. I mean, most of that is due to my YouTube algorithm, but for the most part, yeah, I'm on some some Afrobeat. And most of my playlist is oldies. So I'm on Mary J. Blige. I'm on some Three T. I'm on some. Justin Timberlake, Usher. I'm on all kinds of stuff, but Afrobeat is what I'm a, what I'm a stick to right now, and what's gonna get me to the dance floor. What is your artist though? Artist, like, Afrobeat artist. What's who? Who's your artist to make you be like? That's, top, that's top the three. one. Mm. You have to you like. He play you on the dance floor. It's, it's over with. You out there. I mean, right now, one artist that's gonna be on the dance floor. I love Lo J. He's a Afrobeat artist. Of course, Barna Boy and Tim's. They're my top three right now. I know. Well, pretty much growing up, um, I would describe my, my style of music just old school, vintage, um, and upbeat as well. So, like I said, growing up, I listened to like the old school music. Um, yeah, the old school R&B pretty much. And then, like, my teenage years, I was into the reggae. I was really, really messing with the reggae a lot. Music for me is is more so of movement and how I feel. So, like, I remember I'm really not into the country. That's the only thing I'm not into in the rock. But of any other type of genre music, I like it. And it's just, if it makes me feel good, then that's what I like. So, yeah, the reggae. And then once I got grown, moved out of my parents' house and stuff, I got into the Afrobeat. You know, hip-hop as well, too. Um, but, yeah, the Afrobeat, it's just... At the end of the day, it's just a movement for me, how it makes my, my soul feel. Okay, so um, I had a question in my head. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so the question is, what made y'all really just tune into this lifestyle? Because, like, you know, it's a whole movement. If you Once you go Caribbean, you never go back. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. So we're really like, 
got y'all to that point. Be like, you know what? I'm way into Korean because y'all from Texas, technically. You know, maybe raised in Detroit or something like that. But y'all from Texas. But what really made y'all be like Korean, Afro? That's 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 me. That's you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's me. What what made y'all do? Turn to that. <laughs> okay, so pretty much for me, um, it really wasn't no turning point because, like I said, when I was at home at my parents, like during my teenage years, I was listening to the reggae. And so the, the reggae, when I first started listening to it, it really already started moving my soul. And it just, music is really just, a, like I said, it's just a mindset. You know what I'm saying? You have music that's just for play and you have the beats and everything that kind of just connect you with life itself i'm kind of deep into that you know um so it kind of started from when i was back at home but as far as like the afro beat it's not just so much a trend you're hearing on the radio and everything but you know it's you i feel like you get connected to the right things at the right time and so that's what it was it was just a connection type of thing with the music okay okay and for me um, a song can literally take me back in time to, to better times. So mm-hmm. the time we did spend in Trinidad, I mean, I'll hear a song and instantly I feel back when we was there. So um, playing that when we did get back to America, you know, it just connects you and everything. So playing them songs and then finding new artists, that's how I was put onto some Caribbean music. Um, and then as far as the Afrobeat, it's really the culture, you know, certain music is going to be played around a certain group of people. So, again, wherever I hear a song, it brings me back to when I was chilling with them type of people. Um, and then also what they're saying. Um, I'm not going to talk bad about hip hop, but, you know, they talk about the same thing. Strippers, bitches, money, change, you know, I ain't even about that lifestyle. I'm talking about good times. I like a, uh, some music with a message type thing. So, I mean, not all of the music I listen to, you know, a lot of me talk about twerking and moving your body and stuff like that. So it ain't all positive messages, but at least it's going to make you move and have a good time at least. Whew. Hey, 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 hey. They about to take everybody back to school, you know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to understand, right? This here is a real podcast. You see? we in school, school, school is in. They said school is in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They said they ain't going to be mysterious. <laughs> all right but yeah so i mean i like all of that you know what i'm saying because they kind of got the same vibes I, i'm on like you know I, i'm on the vibes of you know i was raised around caribbean music you know i'm from boston you know what i'm saying but i've been raised in the virgin Islands, so you know i'm around calypso soca i'm around everything and then you know what the past year or two i've been on some afro beats the veto you know whiz kid you know what i'm saying who else we got burner boy you know what i'm saying Giants. Mm-hmm. oh oh so they said they gonna put y'all on some new music now or some new artists at least. If y'all got some artists y'all wanna put them on, put them on right, put them on real quick. Give, give us some names, man. Give us some names. We need some names. We need something. We got Lottie Poe, um, Skip Marley, of course. The Marley family can't go wrong with them. It's more the reggae. Um, I'm going to just go down my playlist and put y'all on. It's very diverse, okay? So, uh, of course, like she said, Skip Marley. Um, Jameson, he's on some R&B type stuff. Um, We got, who else? Uh Uh-oh, Mary J. Blige, obviously. Okay, but for Afrobeat, Adekun Lego, I can't say his name. So, if you're African, don't don't play me. But, um, of course, Burner Boy, like we said. Uh, Stormzy, he's a UK artist. He's cool too. You gotta work, listen to your headphones for Stormzy because his accent's strong. Um, who else? I mean, it's a bunch of people. From personally, if you listen to some women, we got Tim's. Um, if you're looking for reggae, definitely we, Lila Ike. Um, shoot, we got my girl Coffee. We can't forget about her. She's on the rise. Of course, coffee. she's on the rise. That's my girl. We know Coffee. I know, I know, but some people don't know. Some people don't know. Yeah, no, it's all good though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get everybody hip. You know what I'm saying? Cause they've been putting. They've been putting me on. Like I ain't gonna lie, right? Ayana put me on this one song by Burner Boy called Mary J. I promise to God, I would never stop playing that damn song. I mean, and she was the one who really put me on Prince Swanee too, cause she had that one catch twenty two. 
like I heard Prince Wani like that one song Mad Dog like real my dogs you know what I'm saying but she put me onto that like Prince Wani that um Catch 22 and I was like you know what they're hip these motherfuckers is hip to some shit you know what I'm saying so you know but like I said they always been cool you know what I'm saying and they always been like you know what I'm saying good with me or whatever the case is no matter what you know what I'm saying but yeah so anyways though Let's talk about some food, because, you know what I'm saying, I'm a fat boy. I'm skinny, because I don't eat meat no more. Thank you. Anybody who want to talk shit, I don't eat meat no more. Mind your business. I don't eat meat. That's all. But anyways, food. What is y'all all-time favorite foods? Because I know it ain't American food. It might be Southern, but it ain't all American. What y'all really crave? For me, everybody, you know, you're going to take it back to your roots, what you grew up on. So my granny did a lot of the cooking and my dad. My dad's style was more elevated. You know, he was more fancy, but my granny was more Southern. So it's just really simple stuff. It ain't expensive. I hate the word expensive, but it ain't pricey, just something simple. So the chicken and noodles, chicken and rice, um, greens, macaroni, just real regular Southern food. But, you know, when your family make it, it'd be the best. So... That's just my top right there. Southern food for me is, I wouldn't say my favorite. Got a real diverse palate. But Southern food does go in if it's made right. Does bring me back to times when my granny was cooking food and stuff. Um, But nowadays, we just got done eating some oxtails and some jerk chicken and some, you know, beans and rice, plantain. So we'll eat that as well because, you know, our stepmother was Trinidadian. So, being around that, I'll tear down some, some Trinidadian food one time as well. Okay, so, I'm glad you said, your, your, uh, you said stepmother, right? Mm. Stepmother was Trinidadian, right? What have she introduced y'all to that y'all wasn't familiar with? That when she introduced y'all, to, introduced y'all to it, y'all was like, you know what? I actually like this shit. Like, what have she introduced y'all to? Food-wise? It could be anything. It don't got to be food. It could be anything well, that she introduced y'all to. I mean, personally, she would cook some 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 different stuff. I wouldn't say it was like traditional Trinidadian food, but I mean, whatever we got in the freezer, she gonna make some and she gonna make it taste good. As she well. was lit. She was lit in the kitchen. <laughs> um, but personally, we was not exposed to the Caribbean culture pretty much before her time. So, some new foods, the street foods down there, um, you know, stuff like aloo pie. That's like a big hit. Anything fried is good. Um, but she would just make it. She she actually wasn't cooking a lot of traditional food. She would cook a lot of American mood, uh, food, spaghetti, soup, and stuff. Stuff that'll last for a family. Um, but once we went down there to Trinity, yeah, that was a different a different vibe. Because we got to see how her sister or aunt was cooking. And she made some good food. I think what kind of stuck with me with her style of cooking, it was more so not what she made because I can't re- really remember the things that she made, but I remember she just using what was in the house. And that's just sustainable for anybody in life. You know, sometimes you ain't always got to go to the store. My dad was the type, if we didn't have no uh, egg, he going to run all the way to the store to go get it. But my stepmom, she going to use what's in the house. So, so now that. You know, I live on my own with my sister. You know, you got to make what's, you're going to have to make it work. You know, whatever's in the house, you're going to make a good dish out of it. So that's what I kind of stuck with. Now just living on my own is just making making it work. Whatever you got. I agree. I agree. Okay. So let me ask you this, right? So both I've been to Trinidad, right? Mm-hmm. What what tree have I climbed in Trinidad that I fall out of? If did did y'all fall out any tree? Did y'all get chased by any chickens? No, there's no really no chickens running around that I seen. Did, did y'all fall out a tree though? Like you have to follow one tree at least one uh, time. Yeah, um, my cousin would take us to the plum tree that they had in the back. They had a mango tree in their backyard, so yeah. You fall out? I don't know what that means. You mean you fell out the tree? I fell out of it. Yeah, like you nah, slipped. Nah, I ain't fall. climbing no tree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, can can we can we can we honestly say it's a full experience if you don't fall out the tree at least one time? You have to. First I know off, they had these long sticks that you could just shake the mango. Oh, out of okay. Oh, they cheated. They cheated. Yeah, I ain't climbing y'all no tree. They just so shake y'all didn't like take the green mangoes and throw it after the right ones and hit it out the tree. They had a long mm-hmm. stick. Yeah. Now you can take the the mangoes on the ground and, and throw them at the tree so they make the other ones fall. But mm-hmm. you know that or stick. I mean that's cool. That's cool too. I mean 
Okay, I know how you did something in Trinidad that just made you feel like, you know what, I might be Trinidadian for real. <laughs> y'all did something. Y'all, y'all might have walked around with no shoes on. Mm-hmm. I might have, like, bruised your feet on the ground because you just forgot to wear shoes. Like, go to the beach. Um, I will say what the difference is is the, like, the lifestyle. You know, when you... The, they're clean, but they're more lax than Americans. I mean, you know, you have some dirty people, you have some clean people, but I know my my way of living is a little bit more like, I want to say extreme, but a lot more top tier. And so they're just a little bit more lax when it comes to just, you know, they wear no shoes and, you know, you come from outside and everything. You know, I mean, they're clean, but it's not like sparkly clean. Mm-hmm. And I don't say that in a disrespectful way. It's just they're a little bit more lax, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're kind of just more pristine because that's just how we are. But you, even in the Caribbean, even in Jamaica, other places we've been to, it's just more more lax, you know. And they're not worried about that. They're clean, but it's not like extreme, you know. Yeah, it's cause, that's the one it's thing. It's because we're comfortable. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 and that's the thing. We're comfortable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You got hot up foot. Your foot hot up. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, your foot might not be hot up, but our foot was hot up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But. It, it, it's one of the things that we do because you, you know what I'm saying you check we like me personally I used to come outside with shoes on mm-hmm. leave my shoes by the door <laughs> by my front yard I walk off forget my shoes I eat up and down the street my foot black by the time I come home you know look like tar you know what I'm saying if I was in Carolina you could come at a tar heel mm-hmm. my shit was black but you know what I'm saying it's all good though you know what I'm saying uh, you know what I'm saying I'm glad I have y'all here anyway You know what I'm saying Like once again I got Ayana and Samira You know what I'm saying On University of Allen Ting You know what I'm saying We 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 gonna, we gonna switch We gonna switch the pier snow You know what I'm saying We gonna switch the pier snow We gonna make it Make it rough We gonna make it rough for them You know what I'm saying Anyways I know I've messed with Caribbean And American dudes Who I would prefer Don't don't watch me. Just, <laughs> just answer the question. Watch me. <laughs> we gonna try be uh, we gonna try be honest. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know Caribbean dudes is winning. Cause we winning, but I'm gonna let them say their part. I'm gonna let them say their story. Go ahead. Okay, if we gonna go based off looks, I do like the African man look. You know, the skin color, the rich melanin. Okay. Um, but I ain't spoke to too many Africans, so I can't say that's who I'm gonna go after. I just kind of. You know how to have a thing for them right now, um, but Caribbean is definitely blessed upon the waistline. So when I go out, I'm definitely gonna have a good time with them one time. Um, Americans, hmm, yeah. I'm gonna just say right now that's my least. I don't know if it's just because they lack a lot in the head. Now I'm speaking general. Some of y'all might be wise and things, but I tend to hold a deeper conversation with people who are not from America. Culture. That's called culture. Culture. Yep. They call it culture. Right. I'm gonna be a little easy, you know what I'm saying? Because I definitely understand. Even I'm an American, but I am different. You know, I, I have culture. I have just the liveliness inside of me, so I do set myself apart. But as far as what I prefer, um, I like my American men. Both of them, the Africans, they look good as well. Um, but. If you if it comes down to the culture, if it comes down to the lifestyle, everything, I would prefer an a African man because that's just how our roots are supposed to be. This is this is where we come from and everything. Mm-hmm. How to treat a woman, how to treat a man. Uh, I'm not saying all African and all African men are wrong or right, but I'm just saying they have the culture, they have the roots and stuff. So this is how we they're supposed to treat a person. Mm-hmm. And you know, American man, and it's not their fault. You know, what I'm saying it's not my fault on what we know, but you know. We just we 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 are raised on a, a different standard, so of course you know I don't fall in line with that because it's not it's not within me. So I'm a, I'm gonna go with an African. I'm gonna let them slide because I did say Caribbean, but African oh Caribbean, that's Afri- what I meant. So I would say Afri- African Caribbean. Hey, We're all African, <laughs> but you know. Hey, watch out. Hey, 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 it's all good, then, man. It's all hey, good. Man. You know what I'm saying? Good. African yeah. Caribbean. You know what I'm saying? We all in the same the same pool. Yeah. The same pool. That's what I meant to say. I, I had two different words in my head, and I I mixed it. I said blood. I was thinking about blood and pool, so I said blood. But it's all good though. Anyways, right? But you get what he's saying though. So if y'all African, they're available. Mm-mm. She said, Mm-mm. "My bad, my bad." To an extent, you have to get to know her first. 
She won't be taken out on a date. I don't. We she don't. said she says she don't. Single, not ready to mingle. She she like food. Got some good food. <laughs> she gonna talk to you. Don't Feed me first. <laughs> you hear that? Feed her, feed them first. Anyways, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't gonna get too deep into relationship type things and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? We just gonna Right now, we have to part to the part to the podcast, but we just kind of we just kind of freestyle the rest of this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We just have the conversations. I don't know what conversations they think about in their head, but we just have conversations. So, what conversations would y'all like to discuss? Since y'all got y'all got the platform, how much time we got? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, just... we we got about twenty five minutes. Mm, okay, that's cool. Y'all got good. Y'all got enough time. I mean, I like it the way we was going just now with the music I mean, and stuff because it covers it covers a lot of how I feel. A lot of, okay, okay, okay. Well, I do I do have a lot of thoughts on relationships, but I feel like that might well, be Well, oh, 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 oh. You said oh, we ain't going to get into oh, that. Oh, thunder. We about, to get thunder. we about to get to relationships. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The slow storm is coming. Anyways, relationships. It's so broad, so we got to kind of narrow it down. Uh, I, yeah, I might have to narrow it down just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. But anyways, since we're going to do that, right? Relationships. Everybody made relationships before. Mm-hmm. Do y'all, like this is me asking a personal question. Do y'all like think about like zodiac signs when it comes to relationships? Or do y'all believe in that? Because, you know, what I'm everybody is different. No, not really. I don't I don't go based off it. I mean, I agree. I see a post or something online. Mm-hmm. I might agree with it, but I'm not deep into it. No. I agree. Zodiac signs are not anything I look at to see if we're compatible before we get to talking. I'm not into all that. So, I don't mind Gemini's. I don't even know what month that is. I don't care. That's me. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just, I, I'm just asking a, a personal question because, you know what I'm saying, anybody who heard Gemini, they'd be like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, you're too feet. Yeah, okay, I don't you know, know, I don't, I know my sign of. and another uh, one more so, line, what are y'all signs anyway? I'm a Libra. A Cancer. <laughs> well, I know Cancers are. Yeah, I'm aggressive. the only Cancer you know. No, my son is a Cancer, actually, Uh-oh. technically. And he is aggressive. So, I know Cancer is aggressive. Well, maybe not you. Maybe, you, maybe you're the. Oh, see? 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 <laughs> see? She said she she aggressive. Y'all don't have to speak soft, you know. Y'all can just speak, you know. Like yeah. it's gonna pick up everything. Just speak. Mm. Feel was just speak what's on your mind. When it comes to relationships, I mean, um, everybody has it their own way. I feel like the basis of a relationship is you do what works for you. You, you know, you have these podcasts, you have these these shows that tell you how to do this in a relationship and stuff. The first thing you need to do is work on yourself because if you are not top tier, then you can't expect. <laughs> the relationship to go top tier so you just work on you and you just you find what works for you you can't expect what joe got and and you can't expect the same for you so mambo she said work on you first i hear that work on you first Harry, continue mm-hmm. and though i may make the differentiation between like what culture i like and if i like african or caribbean or american i feel like Personally, the wave I'm on right now is I'm going to be with a black man. Like, that's the route I'm on. Um, so, right now, I'm working on bettering the black relationship because I feel like we have a lot of things wrong with the way we look at dating, courting, getting into a relationship, maintaining a relationship. There's a lot that we need to work out because the history of a black relationship, it's been tainted to it for a long time. So, the wave I'm on, I'm doing a lot of looking into. I'll watch a YouTube video, I'll listen to a podcast. And it's mostly about that. So, like I said earlier, single not ready to mingle because I'm working on my mental. So that when I am in a relationship, I can bring the better me to a relationship. Yeah, I hear what she said. She ain't want no white tea. That's all. I mean, all right. It was more to that. I, I just wanted to say that. But no disrespect to my anybody who's white that ever listened to this or anybody that's white that I that hear this. You know what I'm saying? You know, I fuck with y'all. Long, you know what I'm saying? Long as y'all ain't on that extra shit. You know, so I fuck with y'all. But she she said she want to make sure she right in the head mentally. How many females I know that say that? Not a lot because everybody always on some extra shit anyway. But I had a question in my head and I kind of. I kind of I lost my thought just now. But 
I go and say, I go and just I, like I said, they go freestyle it because you know what y'all talking to. I talking to Tim Dog, you know what I'm saying? U I T. And let me say something right quick. Money don't matter. I know y'all seeing it so much on online and whatever you listening to, Kevin Samuels, whoever. A lot of women is talking about money matters. And if you if you talking about Samir, I'm gonna just say right now it ain't the top the top priority because. Keeping it real, a lot of black men ain't got no money. You feel me? Like, I mean, we ain't in the top 10% of the bracket. We just not. So, um, money, it's going to be brought up if we look into actually, you know, become a committed relationship. It's going to come up. Um, but that's only to make sure that we are able to be stable in the relationship. But as far as bringing it up and asking you what's your annual income on the first date, nah, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't my way. I hear what she said. At the end of the day, well, like I said before, you focusing. I hate the word focusing because everybody say I'm focusing on me and focus on myself. But what does that really mean? You have to sit down and really think. I do this for myself. I don't say anything that I don't do. I sit down and think and ask yourself some actual questions. What do I want for myself? Because 90% of these women that I've seen, black, white, whatever, mostly in our black community, they want what they don't give themselves. You want somebody to buy you this, the shoes, the nails and stuff, and you don't do it for yourself. You working at McDonald's. Nothing wrong with that because I work at McDonald's. But you want somebody to give you a lavish lifestyle when you don't give it to yourself. So the already relationship that you're going to get into or even a friendship, you already kind of going left. It's, it's, no, it's not going positive and it's not going in a positive direction. So you just have to ask yourself what you want for yourself. Do those things for you first because if you're not right in your own mind, then you're not going to be right in the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to expect so much, and when that person don't give it to you, then you're going to be, you know, woe is me. You know what I'm saying? And same for the guys as well, not just for the females, the guys as well. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go out here chasing, chasing. What are you looking for? If you're not doing it for yourself, it's hard to have motivation. as people out here with depression, all these type of things and stuff, but you got to find, which is really hard sometimes, to find that motivation. Even if it's something small, even if you just... You just smoke all day. You drink and stuff. You enjoy that time within yourself. Then everything else is gonna fall in line with someone else. Hey, I'll, hey, they 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 dropping some gems, you know. They dropping gems and all really fast, you know. They doing it fast, but it, it's quick. So if you ain't think about it, it's possibly quick. You know what I'm saying? What she's talking about, you know what I'm saying? You need like when they say focus on yourself, not just like she said. It ain't about the word focus. It's about paying attention. Mm-hmm. To what you need in life, you know what I'm saying? About your mental and everything else, you know what I'm saying? So, I think everybody needs to, hey, take the gems, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Take it with a grain of salt. What, a, what I should say. Take it with a grain of salt. But, and, and to add on to what she said about um, bettering ourselves and working on our mental, I feel like a lot of women are maybe chasing a bag, chasing careers, degrees, you know. But if we going to get to a certain age once we accomplish everything we wanted to accomplish um, financially. Going to get to an age where you didn't even really work on yourself to better yourself for a relationship to make sure that the woman that you're giving to a man is is what he actually needs, you know? I feel like when I'm seeing the stuff online about black men switching to other races because they say black women this and black women that, that we got attitudes and stuff, we are really independent. We are strong in those type of things, but that's because we've been working so hard to take care of ourselves, and due to that, we ain't worked on being better for a relationship. So if you're going to be chasing that bag, also take some pointers and listen to others and listen to your man so that when you get into a relationship, when you know how to take care of and cater and care to, cater to his emotional side and not just needing him to cater to your emotional side, it's a two-way team. Like... I'm putting it in, I'm putting it in slow terms for y'all who don't understand, right? What she's saying is, right, she's not discrediting taking care of yourself and making sure you get to the back and get to the top. But eventually, one day, you're going to want to settle down. Mm-hmm. How you going to settle down? All of you ever thought about with yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, money money matters, but money's not everything. Believe me, mm-hmm. you can have all the money in the world be the loneliest pe- person in the world. That's why rich people commit suicide. Come on now. We all know that. Mm-hmm. So... You know what I'm saying? All she's saying is, come on, like, you know what I'm saying? Just take time to figure out your love language. You know what I'm saying? Learn your love language. Once you learn your love language and you find somebody that's compatible with your love language, things will be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because everything ain't going to be easy. Things going to get hard. Ain't nothing going to be perfect. Ain't no relationship. You know what I'm saying? So just take that time. 
work on it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be perfect out the gate. But if it's going to work out in the future and everything going to be right, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got, we got like a few more minutes to uh, talk about some other shit. Uh, matter of fact, I, I have something in my head. But I ain't gonna, matter of fact, let's, matter of fact, fuck it. Let's, let's, let's go off the top. Let's just go off the top and go crazy with it, right? What's the like, like? What's the wildest shit you could think of that you did? You were like, you know, I ain't never do this shit again. <laughs> I mean, I go first if y'all want me to. Go ahead, yeah, because we've been talking. All right. Well, the wildest shit I ever did that I would probably never do again because I'm not in the military no more. Um, I was in the field one time, and if anybody was in the military, they know you, you got the first the first iron tent. I fucked the chicken the first iron tent. And shit was lit. And it was scary as hell, but it was lit. So, that's one of my top ones. <laughs> so, uh, it don't have to be about sex or nothing like that. I'm just saying. What's the yeah. wildest shit you ever did you probably never do again? It could be, you could take, you could pop a pill, drink something. You could jump on top of a speaker and flip off the shit. You know, it's just saying, wow. You know, you gotta, you, you gotta kind of kill it with something good. Something real great. Mm. Well, so when I'm on the spot, then I really can't think. But I just remember <laughs> when we was a little bit younger. Um, it's so sad, and this is. Ugh. But um, <laughs> we put our little cousin in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. We put our cousin in the dryer and started it for like a couple seconds in, and then we stopped it. But that was I remember that was the craziest thing. I felt so bad. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you got something. We wasn't an old crazy just trying to hurt him. It was really just trying to play and see, you know. But they put them in a dryer. It don't get no crazy than that. <laughs> yeah. Because my could have could have hurt himself really bad. Family, <laughs> friends do kind of crazy things and stuff, but it was no intention just to hurt or kill, <laughs> nothing, abuse, none of that. Um, I've done some crazy things. Do I feel like saying it on this podcast? Yeah, let me no. hear. Uh, yeah, give, huh? give, us, give, us, give us one good one. Give us. One I can't good one. think. I really didn't take a lot of risk. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I kind of was a goodie risky. too. Yes, your body risky. Mm. Risky. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think though. Uh, I'm on the spot too. I'm trying to think. You trying to avoid something? Just go ahead and say it. No child. Um, what you didn't do? She, she hiding something. <laughs> yeah, trying she, to beat her, her on the bush. If you can see her face right now, I'm watching her face. She's hiding something right now. Ooh, we won't speak that. Day. No judgment. Um. Next. Yeah, y'all gonna have to skip me. Come back. Nah, we ain't skipping her because there's only three of us. The time gonna run out before I figure out what I want to say. Well, when they get to five minutes, I got the rest of that. So you still got a good. Five minutes. Well, we'll come back to she. What's we going with next? We gonna come back to she. she we are gonna let her think for a little quick second. But me and Anna's gonna do a little duet. Um, <clears throat> I ain't doing no singing. We are gonna do a duet. Um, what's uh, how that one song go? Uh, we gonna sing some Mary J. Blige for the people. I don't know too much. Too many you know, songs. Or some Ashanti. I don't know too much of that. You know what? She can always say she don't know something too much of nothing. You know what? Coffee. Sing. We're going to send some coffee. Mm. I understand some, some of what she said, but not everything. I ain't singing now. <laughs> we, we, just buying her, we just buying her sister time. She ain't done thinking over there. She, 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 oh, matter of fact, she said she got one. Just say it. What is, it? is it so bad you don't want me to know? She don't want nobody to know. That fuck rough, you know. I ain't watching her face and all shit rough. She's smiling and she grinned and she vexed at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Watch out. You know when somebody got that, that thought in their forehead, right? It just on their forehead. She vexed and she happy at the same time. Like, she happy she did it, but she vexed she did it. It can't be no worse than um, half the fuck. There she go. Yeah, there there go. she go. Okay, the craziest thing I've done um, was definitely, I would say, Hit the blunt while I was in the drive through at work, you know. That's so <laughs> lame. What you mean? I'm inside the building. I should not be smoking weed in my at my job through in a drive through. Literally taking the blunt out somebody's car, 
Oh, and inside the that restaurant. That is kind of crazy because this shit could have been laced. Yeah, no, I knew the person. Okay, well, it's not that bad then, because we thinking about she about to say something. Man, I went in the drive thru and I was just riding in the drive thru. No, I I'm thought she was gonna say some shit, some shit like that. I'm she was clocked in. Hit you know what I'm saying? But anywho, anywho. We gonna let y'all promote whatever y'all got going on. This is the time promote it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, this is Samira. I own Sims Royal Kitchen here in Colleen Harker Heights. Um, catering to soul food, Southern comfort food. I sell plates. If you ever live like in the ghetto and stuff, you kind of have like a plate lady. She'll sell like soul food and stuff. That's me. So your local hookup. Like I said, for Southern Soul and Comfort Food, I plan on getting into catering. So if you have an event, hit me up for that. I'm also going to shout out a new partner that I just kind of partnered with. He owns a teen center that's going to be built in Harker Heights. Um, It's called the Impossible Teen Center that's going to be opening up sometime before the summer off veterans in Harker Heights. So if you know some teens, some youths that can come to find some good association Mm -hmm to learn to build themselves getting ready to move out want to learn how to make music the teen center is going to there's going to have a kitchen they're going to have meals they're going to start doing a lot of fundraisers coming up to raise money for the building so keep a look out on facebook for i'm possible it's spelled impossible but obviously nothing's impossible so i'm possible teen center um so stay tuned for that you gotta give your ig out oh my instagram is sims underscore royal kitchen s-e-m-s underscore royal kitchen um my facebook is the same sims royal kitchen on facebook so that's about it um i'm a hairstylist and colleen um I'm a natural hairstylist, number one. I really want to shout that out because it's really not a lot of... It's a lot of stylists on every block, but who focus on natural hair? I feel like I'm I'm really um, blessed to, to be able to, to care for the, the natural hair people. You know, and I definitely want to keep that alive because we've seen the braids and weaves and everything. And it's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, we want the natural hair is, is where it's at. So, I focus on that. Of course, I do my locks and everything. Um, right now, I don't have a set time frame that i don't want to do this but eventually i want to get on youtube or just uh marketing my education um you know as, as far as the natural hair and everything how to take care of it different styles you can do you know what i'm saying if you got children whatever the case may be so my instagram is i just forgot <laughs> yes empress beauty so e m p r e s s B E A U T Y underscore hair. And my Facebook is Ayana A Y A N N A. Last name is D U R R. So once you look those up, you can find all the information you need to. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I say. I do cooking as well, but I'm not focused on that. But I just, I'm just going with the flow of everything. I'm a jack of all traits, and, you know what I'm saying? So, but the hair is where it's at, the education and stuff. So we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. So. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna end it on a good note. Uh, so I got food from both. I got food from them. You know, Samara, she a cook. When she put a foot in it, she put a foot in it. You know, what I'm saying she stayed with her hand. You know, what I'm saying y'all don't know about staying with your hand, but she stayed with her hand. When they, when they, y'all do it, your hair, your shit look right, bro. If anybody ever seen me with my hair looking right, right, because she did it. You know, what I'm saying, and I ain't the type of person just t- talk about anybody just doing my hair right, but she do my hair right, but. Anyways, though, I'm going to end it on a positive note because I always I always try to end on a positive note, right? So today's positive note is the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, got to put up, you got to put up with the rain. So what that mean to y'all? I don't know what you mean to y'all, but what mean to me is, I mean, things are always going to be hard before it get easy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go, you're going to go through a lot of trial before you even get to the vacation of of the situation you know what i'm saying like you want rainbow what about the rain you, you ain't gonna never appreciate the rainbow if you don't never go to the rain you know what i'm saying anybody knows that like you have to things on good things gonna be hard but it's life well i mean 
how can you appreciate good shit if you never go been through no bad shit? You know what I'm saying? Even in my life, I've been through some bad shit. And now I appreciate all the good shit. I appreciate all the good people in my life. I appreciate everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel blessed. Blessed, black, and highly favored. You know what I'm saying? Even the sisters I got with me, blessed, black, and highly favored. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, they got, matter of fact, I don't think I have any clapping, but I have, I have a... I have that, I have that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I have that, but you know what I'm saying, but for real though, like, you know, we all blessed, black, and highly favored around here, you know what I'm saying, we appreciate the good things because, you know, like, you know, the good things only appreciate when you go through the bad things, and you know what I'm saying, if you, if they want to say a positive, if something positive on top of the positive note, they can, but in fact, here we go. Okay, so like he said, you know, I ain't going to repeat what he just said, but at the end of the day, once you be realistic with yourself, you know what I'm saying? Life is not going to be perfect, but this is life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through certain things within yourself, within the people you're around, but you just have that hope that you're going to get through it. Because if you drown yourself with negative, 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 or if you get in a situation and what was me, you know what I'm saying? You're going to go through your pain, but remember in the back of your mind, it's going to get better. And once you have those positive thoughts running through your head, it's going to get better. Because you only, your situation is as only as bad as you make it. Period. Mm-hmm. All right. And to, to let your good days affect you more than your bad days. You're going to have a bad day. We know we got 30 days out the month, 30, 31 days out the month. And some days we just going to have it real hard. And sometimes even on them days, it's just moments where we just feeling low. We feeling down and out. But we got to remember that most of the days out the month, we are feeling good. So remember that anytime you're having a low moment, a blue moment, a down day, remember that, you know, moments before that, days before that, you was feeling good. Let them good days affect you so much. Don't let them bad days turn into bad decisions. Them bad days turn into bad weeks. You know, always keep the positive on the forefront. Remember that good things will always come your way. If you're thinking, if you're thinking that way, it's going to come out in your hands. Your, your hands is going to do good work. You're going to get yourself out of any rut that you find yourself in. You just got to believe it. Hey, See, I told you. They be speaking facts. Y'all thought I'd be bullshitting around here. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, like they said, stay positive. Stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's in your mind is going to come to you. So if you're positive all the time, positive is going to come out of it. Believe me. And if you're negative... Oh, you can get some negative out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely if you come my way on some bullshit. Nigga, I'll fuck y'all. No, I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? But for real though, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stay positive. Stay blessed. Always just just keep it trucking. You know what I'm saying? Like the little, like little train that say he could. You know what I'm saying? The little engine. What was it? The little engine, right? The little engine. The little engine that say he could. You know what I'm saying? He gonna keep chucking, 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 chucking. You know what I'm saying? Just... Keep moving forward, bro. Cause I tell, I guarantee you this, right? Ain't nobody can tell me about being down. I done been on my back. I'm talking about ass out in a hole with nothing, with nothing to look forward to, and I still made it out. Look where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? Everything is blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we blessed, black, and highly favored. And uh, this is another episode of uh, University Island Things. University Island Things. University Island Things. Let me let me get let me get a, let me get a drop. University Island Tings. University, University Island Tings. <laughs> I wish I could record that, but I still learning. I don't know much. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, get off my back. I don't know. Judge me. But anyways, UIT. Cause I'm gonna make some shirts. You know, I'm gonna really make some shirts. I got I got some shirts coming. Some hats coming. Maybe some jeans. Some some retros. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a pair of like retro twelves that say you are. Ooh, it's about to be lit. Right. Hey, hey, speaking into existence, University Island things, you know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We got Samira. We got Ayana. And this is what we do. But um, everybody got a life. So uh, y'all have a good one. You know what I'm saying? And we'll holla at y'all at the time. And you know what I'm saying? I might make them a, I might make them a, a normal host. You know what I'm saying? That's that's up, all up for debate. Yes, I love to debate. I make them no hopes. You know what I'm saying? They got the voices for it. They got the voices. So we're going to holler at y'all. Y'all be easy. Love.